A treacherous finale to a race at the Daytona International Speedway today. Look at the video. Cars colliding, getting tossed around like toys, pieces of them flying over a fence, injuring at least a dozen people, many of them fans, and ABC's Lindsay Janice is on the story. One driver sparks a dramatic crash on the Daytona track. And contact! Smith turned around! And a terrible crash coming to the finish! Sending his car spinning into the wall and another going airborne. Parts of the 12 cars involved in the crash fly through the fence into the stands, hitting and injuring spectators. So far, 15 people have been taken to the hospital. The drivers are all okay. Now, take a look again. The driver out front is Reagan Smith. He tries to prevent his opponent, the car directly behind him, from trying to break out in front, triggering the giant crash, sending the car of Kyle Larson into the air, ripping its engine off. This cell phone video shows shards of metal and parts of engine hurtling towards the screaming fans. I made the move and then he blocked it and the two of that together started the, you know, the chain of events that caused that wreck. I hope everybody in stands is okay. I know I saw there was some damage up there. They started wrecking in front of us and, and unfortunately at that point it was it's too late. You know, you, you're running so fast. It is a dark day for NASCAR when fans get injured. Tomorrow, of course, is the big race, Daytona 500. Many of the same drivers are going to be competing again in just a few hours, Dan. But so back to this crash. Apparently, it was one car that triggered the whole thing. Right. You can see the car out in front actually uh, tries to block his opponent immediately behind him from getting out in front of him. And that sparks the big crash. And you can see the car that goes airborne there, driven by Kyle Larson. Its engine got completely ripped off. That's part of what went into the stands. You can see it burning there. It actually ended up wedging itself in a hole in the fence. And, and this is why we have uh, some very serious injuries. We're told about six of these patients will be trauma patients. A very dangerous chain reaction tonight. Let me ask you, because a lot of people will be wondering about Danica Patrick, the first woman to start in pole position tomorrow. She's supposed to start in first place. Was she involved here? She was not involved. She actually had to bow out of the race earlier on because of some engine trouble. That will no doubt be a source of relief to many people. Lindsay Janice, thank you for your reporting tonight. We appreciate it.